Okay, this is a quick little video to show the new 20th or 25th anniversary Steadfast Lockman single column reference. It's in black cowhide, it comes in this paper here. Uh, I got the one with blue under silver art gilt and I had to do a report because I ordered it the same day these came out and mine didn't come in till yesterday. But uh, I, I replied to the, the original confirmation email that I got, I got from uh, Steadfast, and they were so kind that they FedExed me another copy of this same Bible, uh, and it got here a couple days later. So I, I can't speak highly enough about the people at Steadfast and their uh, their customer service, uh, they are just just phenomenal, and uh, and I'd, I'd be happy to to buy from them anytime, anytime. So this is the new uh, single column reference 25th anniversary edition, and uh, and I figured I could show you the same Bible, um, or I'd show you both of the Bibles that I got. And if there are any differences, that would, that would sort of represent maybe some variation you might see uh, in the product. So here's the other one right here. I'll uh, compare them real quick. I got some stuff on there. So, I mean, it, it looks very, very much the same um, between these two, two Bibles, and it's supposed to, right? So the way that the paper fits might look a little bit different. So your corners, you might have a little bit of variation there. So this corner sort of bent there. These corners are uh, a little bit triangular and this one, not so much, but this one, it uh, this corner, it folds flat over and there's, an, there's not as much training to the bottom side of the Bible. Uh, if we look at the spines here, you can tell that, let's see if I can line them up for you pretty good. Um, it looked like, here we go, if you see the bottom, the, the double lines above the logo, there's a little bit of melt in the uh, the stamping on the two lines on the left one, but not on the right one. And, um, maybe, a, maybe a tiny bit of melt in the New American Standard there in, current, in uh, italics, and uh, a tiny bit with the double lines around Holy Bible on the left side, but none on the one on the right. So that was that was nice. Um, they uh, they both look really consistent. The yap, um, the yap on the one here on the left uh, doesn't really. I mean, it doesn't touch all the way. The one here on the right, it doesn't touch all the way either. So um, I'm, I've seen some people who it seemed like they were able to make the, the full yap touch, but I can't do that with either one of these. So uh, the one here on the right, uh, it seems like there's a little more yap on the top side than there is on the bottom side. So it, uh, it folds up a little bit more there than the, the other, but um, these are really good quality and um, very, very, very pretty. Uh, they are, um, they are, you see the little split here? Let's see if we can get it focused. There, the little split shows you that uh, the there's a one piece of leather here on the inner liner, a second piece of liner here, and then actually there's a third piece along the spine underneath the Bible that you can't see. So this is a three-piece liner. Um, it smells really good. Can you smell it? Can you smell it? That's really good. I, I, I tell you what, I really like this Bible. Um, there is some ghosting in there. Uh, that that should be, I mean, you're looking at it, so it's apparent to you. I'm gonna try to get images um, of this Bible or maybe just add a little uh, extra video to to show this Bible in different lights. Right now I have just yellow bulbs 
We'll see how it looks underneath the light in my kitchen where I have a, a fluorescent light. But, uh, while I have these out, I figured I'd also bring out uh, the one by which to judge these Bibles. And I have it in my new velvet case that I bought from Lockman for $3. They, I, that just came in the mail moments ago. So brand new case for this Bible. This is the 2002 calfskin and it's gold instead of silver. And so we'll compare the ghosting. So immediately you'll see a big difference in the level of ghosting or lack of ghosting. The opacity uh, is what we're talking about here. So compare the opacity of this one to uh, the new 25th editions that have come out and it will be immediately apparent that uh, one is of better quality than the other. But um, that is just, I guess that's just the paper that they're using these days. Um, there is, I don't know, if, maybe if I tilt this Bible, you can see blue can you see the blue i see the blue on this i see a blue tint in the gutter um, it's very faint um, whenever you're whenever you're at church surrounded by you know 30 different fluorescent lights it's it won't be as bad but um or or maybe it will be but i did notice something at church with this bible the ghosting was not as distracting at church as it seems to be here at the house. And so uh, I, I don't know if uh, yellow lights pick up the next page better or or what, but at church, this is not as bad or not as ghostly as it is at home. So anyway, um, they both smell the same. They're it is a pleasant smell. It's kind, it's fairly strong. Um, it does have, um, it's not as soothing of a, of a smell as a brand new goat skin from Skylar would smell or Allen would smell. Uh, but it, but if you've bought any of the other Steadfast uh, in the cowhide, then you already know how this smells. It smells just like that. Um, this liner's nice. And uh, it, it's fairly consistent. The only difference in consistency that I can see is really in these corners because of the way, merely because of the way the paper was training it in the box, I suppose. Um, so I think I can probably wrap this myself in a different way and uh, get, it to, get it to lay however I want it. And you probably can too. I want to send one of these back to Stead, Steadfast, and I, I sure do appreciate their generosity in being able to work with me. Oh, you, uh, you're going to want to know, you're going to want to know which Bible's thicker, the 2002 or the uh, 2020. Oh, this came with it too, this little, um, little notepad, a little freebie that they giveaway here note-taking journal 64 pages so it's a nice little gift that they give you all right so which one's thicker uh it's not going to be hard for you to guess which one's thicker but here we go there's the size difference see that also difference in what's on the spine yeah, uh, of course the 2002 has uh, two kind of short black ribbons like this right here. And these new 2020 anniversary editions, they have um, three different colors for theirs. This long blue, this uh, long silver, where you got silver, come here silver. silver um, we have a black one. Oh, I did notice something in my black ribbon on the the first bible um there was a little 
It almost looked like a cut almost in the in the ribbon. I thought, well, maybe maybe this is one where they have two pieces of ribbon that they glued together. It wasn't. It was just a just a cut. But uh, anyway, this one doesn't. This second Bible, the original one I purchased, doesn't have that. Um, so anyway, this is a really cool Bible. It, uh, it's a luxury Bible, but it's it's uh, I guess what was it? One fifty, one hundred and fifty dollars. $50 less than the, or $70 less than what you would buy from Skylar. So, really cool Bible. I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, now, if you have a problem with ghosting, then you're going to get this Bible and feel disappointed. But if you can ignore ghosting, if you can live with it, then you're going to get this Bible and think, wow, that's a really nice one. Uh, again, um, they're just not making this paper anymore, you know, not making that paper anymore. All right. Well, hopefully, uh, hopefully steadfast keeps these 1995 editions coming, uh, for the next, or I mean, for the foreseeable future. Uh, cause I know there's some people who would like to see nice new Bibles, um, that are line matched and nice paper come from Lockman. People are wanting that. And um, I hope that Steadfast can keep providing that for us because uh, we love the NASB 1995. All right, guys. Hope that was helpful.